How do you know when you've met your soulmate? And what is it that sets that one person apart from all others? Pat Colvin knows because it happened to him in 1973 when Kathy Betts walked into the room. She was just, just stunning, you know, when she walked in and whatnot. And, and uh, I just fell head over heels. Head over heels in a love that led to a 35-year marriage and a spark that never died. She loved to help people. She had a big heart, you know, and that's what I remember about her. She was so special. Yeah, she never worried about herself. Never worrying about herself, always giving to others. And so when Kathy surprised Pat with a gift that he'd always hinted that he wanted, well, it was in perfect keeping with her character. Out of the blue, she uh, says, you've always wanted to do about you. She says, well, I found one. Let's go take a look at it. You, you know, are you sure about this? And she goes, yeah, I want you to have it. A dune buggy, a Volkswagen dune buggy that was in rusty pieces when Pat brought it home and began working on it. A gift that made him smile ear to ear and consumed his attention. But a gift that hid a terrible secret. I didn't know at the time that she had cancer, that she wanted to keep it so nobody was worried, right? She did start to get sick and, uh, you know, her mornings, you know, two, three o'clock in the morning, I had to rush her to the hospital. And, and that's when we found out, or I found out that, you know, she had cancer. Catherine Colvin was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer. And at the time Pat became aware of her condition, she was given just two months to live. But she fought hard. And the two of them had nine months together before she passed in March of 2012, leaving Pat devastated. And her final gift, the dune buggy, a constant reminder of what he'd lost. I knew it was out there, but it was just, it just wasn't something I had my head around. And then uh, one day I started thinking about what she had asked, like not to forget her. So I started working on it and it's, like I say, it's just changed my world. Now that may sound odd to you at first, but working on the dune buggy became a way for Pat to work through his grief. And then it became so much more. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something different. You know, I want it to be special because she was special. So the only thing that's original in that buggy right now is the actual frame. The rest, everything on it's brand new. Brand new and downright spectacular because Catherine's last gift has become the angel buggy, a rolling reminder of the woman Pat loved so well and a way to fight back against the disease that stole her. The buggy has been built to promote cancer awareness. And uh, the BC Cancer, Can cancer Foundation has a, a, a ride, it's a bike ride, August 29th, 30th from Vancouver to Seattle. They were only too happy to say, you know, yes, you're in. Now the angel buggy will be on a trailer for this year's ride to conquer cancer, but by next year, if everything goes according to plan, it'll make the trip under its own power. And in the meantime, Pat and the buggy are at events and fundraisers across Vancouver Island, raising money and keeping Kathy's memory alive. I think the part she would be pleased about is that she's not going to be forgotten. And the way it's been shared, it is definitely doing its thing for cancer. I mean, it's spreading the word. Kathy is well known. Um, yeah, no, she's never going to be f forgotten. Pat's original goal was to raise 2500 for this year's ride. But with his story being shared around the world, he's on the road to raising much, much more. You can read more and become part of the Angel Buggy story by donating online. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Nancy Wilmot.